Okay. Wow, my mouth is dry. Okay. I think this looks fine. It's been like forever since I made like a vlog video or like me filming face to face. And I got a new phone too, so I'm trying to make sure I'm looking directly at the camera and I think that's the camera. Okay. of all time i'm hoping i can attend every year if possible and time flies man it's already october 2023 is going to end it's freaking crazy ah i hope everybody's having an awesome day i am just about ready to go it should be almost 6 a.m so i think my alarm is gonna go off so i need to make sure to turn it off beforehand since i'm filming okay i'm good it's almost 5 30 but um i went to bed early i went to bed around like 8 p.m ish or whatever because i was tired and i woke up early and i couldn't go back to sleep so i decided to just get up and get ready oh my gosh today is gonna be a fun day so today i'm finally going to meet the laura bailey Laura freaking Bailey. I love her so much. She is my favorite in Final Fantasy 13. I love her as Sarah. Unfortunately, I was not able to get an autograph session with her, so I am not going to be able to have that one-on-one -on -one to talk to her like I wanted to and just tell her how much I love her. Like, I love her so much as Sarah and just her performance as a voice actor in general and I wanted to ask for some voice acting advice too because I'm learning about voice acting right now I would love to be a voice actress so hopefully everything will go well <laughs> and also um, after that I'm going to spend all day exploring the show floor that's my favorite part of Comic Con every time I love to go immediately go to the show floor I love it the booths the photo ops I love taking photos so you are definitely going to see a lot of photos and then later on today, I am going to have the extraordinary honor of meeting the man of Titus, the voice of Titus, James Arnold Taylor. I've been wanting to meet this man for so many freaking years, and now I finally get the opportunity. And Final Fantasy X was the first Final Fantasy game I ever played, and the fact that I finally get to meet the voice of the main protagonist, Titus? I am no more good. It's gonna be amazing. Like literally, when I first started getting tattoos, I wanted to choose something meaningful. So I wanted to choose the Xanarch and Abe's symbol. So I decided to get this because Final Fantasy X means so much to me. It's the first game that I played. The message that it sends is just so beautiful. And the fact that my uncle got me into those games when I was a kid and watching him play the games, I remember it like it was yesterday watching him play x and x2 seven all the other games eight and the fact that i'm older and i'm playing those games now it's just so special so i'm so excited that i finally get the opportunity to meet this man and just tell him how much i love his work as titus and how much that game means to me so hopefully everything will go well today <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm gonna continue getting ready and then um, this is going to be like a mini vlog so we'll see how much I film and I will be sharing my thoughts of like my meet and greets and everything like that but stay tuned! <laughs> Guys, it is 7 o'clock and I am on my way to the venue. I'm not used to filming in public so we're gonna see how this goes but I'm so excited. I decided to get there a little bit later than usual. I was gonna wait until like it's close to 10, but I got too excited, so. <sighs> and um, yeah, I just can't wait to make it to the venue and all that good stuff. I got my breakfast, so I'll eat it when I'm inside the queue hall and go from there. Oh my 
Hi guys, I just got done with a photo op with Laura Bailey and it was amazing. The fact that I got to tell her how much I love her as Sarah from the Final Fantasy 13 series and she was so surprised and like so happy for me to say that, that just made my day for real for real. I love her so much and I'm so happy that I had that opportunity to be able to tell her that because I didn't get an autograph session with her, but I'm just so grateful that I was able to at least tell her that with the small amount of time that we had together for a little photo op, so it was great. Guys, I just got to meet James Otto Taylor. It was amazing, oh my goodness. He is so sweet, so nice. He gave me some voice acting advice as well. Super awesome, and when we got to say goodbye to each other, he said, see ya. It was great, and I said it back to him. Oh my gosh, my heart was racing when I was waiting in line and I took a photo of him holding my autograph photo and I got an autograph as well. It's so cool, my gosh! I'm on cloud nine. I finally had the honor of meeting him and it was just so awesome. And now I'm just waiting for my photo album. So. I'm finally home. Well, back at the hotel. Oh my gosh, it is hot as I don't know what. It is gonna be chilly tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to plan accordingly. But I'm here. Oh my gosh, it's been a very successful day. It's been so fun. Um, some things that I missed that I didn't get a chance to talk about on here is my photo op with James Arnold Taylor. It was so cool. I was first in line because I I just went straight to the lineup after I um did the photo, uh, not the photo op, the autograph session with him. And it was just so wholesome. So I went up to him, it was so cool. He remembered me, even though we just met. <laughs> he was like, oh, um, like it's nice to see you again. He said my name and we took the photo and then he kept talking to me after our photo was done and I thought it was so cool. Like he was saying how much he was happy that to see me again and to thank you for listening to my story. Meanwhile, the staff was trying to tell me to move on to the exit, but I wanted to give him my undivided attention. So, of course, I'm turning back to look at him and listening to him and talking to him as well, telling him thank you so much and everything. It, it was just the best. He's so amazing, so, so nice. And I just can't wait to meet him again. I wanna continue to meet him if I can continue to have those opportunities too. I mean, I'm just really on cloud nine. I literally met the voice actor of Titus. It was the best, the best. Oh my gosh. And yeah, we, we really need to talk about this Demon Slayer boof. The Foot Locker Crocs. Oh my God. I got the Crocs. I didn't want them, they were for my friend, but my God, I feel as though they should have planned more accordingly. So when we first got let out at 10 a.m. to go explore, do whatever we want, I went straight to the booth. But then it already had like a line like wrapped around the booth. That was it. They didn't have like no outside line or like a line far in the distance until there was room for them to transition to where the booth was, right? So I'm like, okay, they cut me off. Like, it was like me and like a, just a couple of other people in front of me and then they cut off the line. And I'm like, yo, what the heck? Like, why? So I was a bit frustrated. And then they were saying like, you gotta come in early and everything like that. And I'm like, dude, it's like not even 11 a.m. What do you mean come early? I was part of the first group to be let in and everything like that. It was just so aggravating. And I understand that it's been like, it's a convention, so there's gonna be high demand, but I kind of wish that they had planned it better because Demon Slayer is such a popular anime. So you would obviously think that there's going to be hundreds, if not thousands of people wanting those Crocs. So, I don't understand why the crowd control could have been better. And the miscommunication is very irritating because I'm hearing different things at once. Like one told me to come back hourly, then the other told me stop by tomorrow or whatever. And I'm like, what do you mean stop by tomorrow? 
the thing just the whole convention just opened it was just a few minutes after 10 a.m so what do i look like waiting until the next day when there's going to be more people getting in the line so i'm going off of what they told me the first time is to come back hourly or just come back later so i explored other booths and everything like that and then i'm also waiting for my laura bailey photo op as well so i'm periodically periodically checking the time and i keep going back over there and it's still full whatever that's that so after my laura bailey photo op i went over to the booth and i was so pissed off because they extended the freaking line like are you serious like oh my gosh why are you telling me one thing but then you're adding more people into the line and having them stand off in the distance or whatever until there's more room for the booth for them to come in i'm like are you serious why didn't you do that from the get-go because i literally could have stayed in line because they refused to have us stay in line they literally told us to leave and they were doing like you know making us leave and it was like security guards for the booth over there too it was so annoying so I'm like, why is people, why are people just saying different things to me? It's like, nobody knows what they're doing and it was just really annoying. So after my other stuff happened, I finally decided to just go stand in line for a very long time, for hours. I don't, I don't remember how long I did it, but I was very frustrated because I didn't get the Crocs from my friend until a little bit after four and it was, nerve-wracking because I have an autograph session with James Arnold Taylor that started at 4 until like whenever our photo op session began which was around like 6 p.m. but again I was freaking out because the line was not moving that much it was moving so slow and then when I got up there, there and saw that it was just like two cashiers I'm like, y'all need to have more than that. And it's like one person at a time or whatever. And then it was just so, so slow paced. I understand it's a convention. We are all going to have to stand in line and wait. It's inevitable because you're talking about thousands of people in this booth, right? But again, it's just so annoying because it's like, things could have been better. And like, I just wish they would have highly anticipated the crowd control. But I understand it's the first day, so you're knocking out all the kinks but come on but overall i'm just happy that i don't have to do this tomorrow i got the crux from my friend everything is straight everything is totally fine and that's that but overall i'm just very happy that today was successful i'm exhausted very fatigued i'm going to wash off this makeup wash my face brush my teeth all that great stuff and go to sleep you know what i totally forgot to I gotta talk about the Genshin Impact and the Honkai Star Rail booths. So it was funny. I was so confused because I don't play Genshin on the PC. So I don't know how to control the keyboard controls. So I had asked for assistance and I don't know if the dude knew that I know of the game, but he started to explain to me that it's on different platforms and whatever like that. I literally told him that I play it on PlayStation. Maybe he didn't hear me, but he just started going off, going on and on about how this game is also on like different platforms and stuff. And then eventually he showed me how to use the controls because we have to i think it was either five minutes or three minutes i don't know i don't remember but we literally just had to control uh kazaha or whoever i think it was just kazaha and go do some random quest it's just talking to some people i didn't know what the heck it was i thought it was kind of weird and confusing maybe they could have done something else but yeah but um, I got it and then they gave me um, some in-game rewards that I got everything. I'll probably do that once I get settled in for bed so I don't forget. And for the Honkai Star Rail thing, um, there was a portion of our little mission for this to get some freebies or whatever. We And um, also, to, yeah, freebies and everything. We had to play the game for five minutes. I couldn't do that because I went there straight, you know, when the whole like thing opened so like a little bit after 10 a.m and their internet wasn't working so i had it more easier i just had to just get the freebie already because they were having some connection issues with the internet but hopefully it gets resolved because you know things like that happen 
but it was just very very interesting but um I'm, i got both redemption codes or whatever for both honkai and genshin i'm a very very new honkai star rail gamer i'm still learning it's a huge grind fest i gotta play some more i know that it's out now um i played the beta it was pretty fun too and okay i think that was it for today yeah let me go sleep <laughs>